So the fundamental concepts of logical theory that we've touched upon in these lectures and that we hope you'll read more about and dig into as you read the course material. There's the concept of an argument. Logical theory starts with the concept of an argument. One or more statements called premises offered as reasons to believe that a further statement called the conclusion is true. And then we divide all arguments into deductive and inductive arguments in logic, where a deductive argument aims to show that the conclusion must be true. It aims to guarantee the truth of the conclusion. It aims to show that the conclusion must be true with certainty. And an inductive argument is an argument that aims only to show that the conclusion is probably true, but not certain to be true. And then we distinguish deductively valid arguments from deductively invalid arguments. Deductively sound arguments are a further category of deductive argument. And then we distinguish inductively strong from inductively weak arguments. And then inductively sound arguments. And then in this lecture I've touched on consistent versus inconsistent, implication equivalence, necessity, and contingency. And so these are all the fundamental concepts of logical theory. And I want to conclude with a couple comments on these items I've touched on today. If two statements are consistent, I've said that that means it's possible they're both true. When you read the course materials, you'll, you'll notice a couple things about consistency. If two statements are consistent, it does not mean that does not mean that they're both true. It just means it's possible they're both true. The fact that two statements are consistent does not mean they're both true. In fact, they might both be false. For instance, here's two statements that are consistent, and yet actually they are both false. Uh, the summer of 1970, I was in uh, Europe. The summer of 1971, I was in Asia. Those two statements are consistent, but actually they're both false. So consistency does not mean true, and be careful of that. And the fact that two statements are inconsistent, I, I want to throw this idea in here. When we say that two statements are inconsistent, it means it's not possible they're both true. But inconsistency does not mean they're both false. It might be that one's true, the other's false. It might be they're both false. And uh, with implication, remember that when a statement P implies a statement Q, it's not possible P is true, Q is false. But that does not mean that either of them is true. It might be that P is false and Q is false. It does not mean P is true when we say that P implies Q. The text materials, the course materials go through these complications. All of these concepts are interrelated. And so there are connections and logical relationships between all of these. And I will touch on these also as I comment on these last concepts. Consistency. If an argument is deductively valid, you can think about this, and it's in your course readings, the falsity of the conclusion would be inconsistent with the truth of the premises. And so there's a nice relationship between consistency, inconsistency, and validity. If, if an argument is deductively valid, the falsity of the conclusion is inconsistent with the truth of the premises. If an argument is deductively valid, the premises considered as a set of statements imply the conclusion. The premises in a valid deductive argument imply the conclusion. So there's a link between implication and validity. Uh, equivalence is interesting. Suppose you present someone an argument and one of the premises bothers them. They don't understand it. Suppose your argument is valid. If your argument is valid and you remove one of the premises and then you replace that premise with an equivalent statement with a statement that's equivalent to the one you took out, your argument should remain valid. If it was valid before the replacement, 
it must be valid after the replacement if the sentence that you replaced is equivalent to the one that you replaced it with. And finally, necessity connects to validity nicely. If an argument is deductively valid, then it's necessary that if the premises are true, the conclusion is true. If an argument is deductively valid, it is a necessary truth that if the premises are true, the conclusion is true. So these arguments all interrelate, think them through, look at the examples, and I hope this helps you dig into the material. Thank you.